guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Ashley, if you are new. And if you are new, please go ahead and stop what you're doing. Do me a quick favor, hit that subscribe button as well as that notifications bell so that you and I can become acquainted and so we can do things like this on the regular. So I'm actually coming in as promised with a quick pre-fall mini haul, I guess is what we'll consider it. So I obviously love fashion, live for fashion. And one of my favorite seasons to get fly is fall, winter. Autumn, fall, winter. I think autumn sounds a little bit more fashionable, sounds like a little bit more of a fashion term, but I just absolutely love fall fashion. They say that's when the fly girls come out is when it gets a little bit colder. You can't really rely on hoochie mama fast fashion, <laughs> if you will. So that's when you can kind of bring out your hoodies, your your leathers, your jackets, your your furs, even though fur, furs are completely faux pas at this point, but fall is just a fun time of the year, not only for fashion, like I love leggings, I love like all the fall vibes, sweaters, boots, blah, blah, blah. But in addition to just the fashion, I also love any everything about fall. So like the pumpkin smells, I'm actually burning my, it just so happens and that is not by design, surprisingly. This is how, this is how much I'm trying to get into the fall vibes. And y'all, my apologies in advance for the background noise, the daycare behind my building, they're outside, whatever. So anyway, like I was saying is I'm actually uh, coincidentally is what I'm trying to say, burning my favorite fall candle right now. And that's pumpkin pink cotton waffles from Bath and Body Works. Love that candle. I've loved it forever. And pumpkin spice and i'm not i'm not like a coffee drinker so i'm not somebody who's like excited about the return of pumpkin spice latte but i love like all the pumpkin candles all the apple candles um really all the fall vibes like the coziness of the fall so not only is fashion fun in the fall in my opinion but just all the vibes like you can go to pumpkin patches you can go to apple orchards girl i don't know when's the last time i've been to either one However, if somebody wanted to take me, I would totally be down to go. Uh, fall food, girl. I can't wait to like make a, a pot of chili, stuff like that. So with that being said, I just love fall. Technically, autumn or fall starts on September 22nd, I believe, and it ends like on December 21st. Here in Atlanta, Georgia, girl, our, I would say our fall probably starts in November. <laughs> that, and our fall is really what y'all's winter is considered. So. We won't be experiencing any leaf, uh, leaves falling on the ground and stuff like that quite yet, but it's coming. So um, even though I live in the South, I still love the fall vibes and I definitely wanna share a couple of items that I picked up to start off kind of like my pre-fall uh, wardrobe capsule, if you will. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first item I wanna share with you guys is going to be, first, you know, Fall is all about knits. We love a good knit. We love a good ribbed dress, uh, outfit, etc. One of my favorite knit or ribbed dress brands is Stod Girl. Y'all, if you are not new here, you know how much I absolutely love the Stod Shaco dress. So I actually picked up one on sale from Saks last this month. And it is in this green, it's like a hunter green or like a forest green and chartreuse color chartreuse charge girl, i can't even say it <laughs> chartreuse green color or yellow color so of course you know with the stock shopo dresses they are um two tones so you get one color on one side and a color on the other side these dresses typically retail for 165 dollars you know your girl don't pay retail for nothing though so i actually picked them up from the sack sale this month they have some really good stuff on sale I, this is my, I now have four style dresses and I have not paid the 165 the full retail price for any of them. So with this one, I paid, I wanna say $76 or $86, one of the two. I basically got it for half off or a little bit over half off. And it is in, I love it. Of course, they go all the way down to like a little bit below your knee, almost above your ankle, if you will. And they have a button all the way down to here and then it has like a little bit of a split. These dresses are amazing quality. As you guys can see, I am so obsessed with these dresses. 
And um, you get, of course, some additional uh, knit or some additional thread and some buttons. And again, excellent quality. This is a size large. I probably could have went down to a size medium, but I don't really like that bodycon effect. I like it to be a little bit stretchy or a little bit more room to my fitted dresses. So I did um, pick this up in a large and it might look small, but when I tell you the stretch on these is impeccable, girl. Like literally this is gonna stretch out so much. It's gonna look so good. I already know how I'm gonna style this particular dress. So I'm super excited about it, but but yeah, so that is the first item that I wanted to share with you guys. And again, that is the Stodd Shackle dress. And your girl got it for half off. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> second dress I want to, or the second item I want to show you actually is within the same family. So in addition to this color, like I said, Saks had, Saks had a really good sale going on this month, girl. I'll try to link some of these items down below. They kind of sell out pretty fast, so you kind of got to be on it. But in addition to that green and chartreuse one, I also picked up this one, which this color is so banging. I wouldn't necessarily say this is a fall color necessarily, but I will be wearing this in the fall. Don't worry about it. Um, so this one is the same dress, the Stad Shackle dress, and this one is in navy and like a teal or cerulean. <laughs> and shout out to Miranda Priestley, if you know, you know. So <laughs> this is like a cerulean-ish in navy style dress same size and a size large and i also paid 76 dollars for this and again the regular price is 165 so super excited about both dresses so now i have a total of four i also have a two-tone gray one and i have my first one which is like a burgundy and navy one so i will be remixing all four of those dresses for fall i don't know how i'm gonna style this one just yet but I got plans for that green one like ASAP girl. So second item I wanted to share with you guys for the fall pre-fall. So the next item I have to share with you guys is a pair of sneakers. Like I said, I got some of these um, outfits, some of these specifically massage dresses. I got plans for those. So the one that I have that's gray on gray, girl, I just had to have a pair of classic new balances with that dress because i want to dress them down so i actually went on my insta story because i am a i used to be a sneakerhead but i'm definitely nowhere near a sneakerhead at this point in my life um i like what i like like i love a stan smith i love an air max that sort of thing but i am not and by any means a sneak a sneaker expert so i actually posted on my insta story one day i need the or on twitter one day and i reposted it on my insta story and i just said i'm looking for the perfect gray pair of new balances so shout out to my girl erin who i think lives in houston right now but she's from mobile shout out to her i know she's probably not watching this but she she was the only person to reply and she literally said go get you a pair of new balance 990s she's so fly that's all i had to hear i went straight to googling some new balance 990 so i was able to pick up a pair now typically when i try to purchase new balances because i wanted like some i think they're called i forget the number on the new balances like i said i'm not an expert girl but i was trying to pick up a pair of one of their new styles last year but the sizing is so crazy i think they're unisex and then typically new balances run kind of big as well so i anytime i ever try to purchase them i never get the my sizes my sizing is never correct however something told me to go in there and order a, a pair of little boys in a size seven and they fit perfectly so the pair that i picked up again would be the new balance 990s which is kind of like your typical dad sneaker if you will but shawl these are so freaking cute and more importantly they are so comfortable i know they're probably not giving much on on this video but when i can i can assure you that these look so good on the foot and they feel even damn better now for a pair of these in like you know adult size they go for like damn near 200 dollars. i picked up a little boy size 7 or big kid size 7 and they were like 110 plus tax i got them from kids foot locker and i am a size i would say true nine and a half sometimes nine sometimes ten it just really depends on the, sh the shoe but i am able to fit this little boy size seven don't ask me why don't ask me how but i'm glad because because uh because i got a big kid's shoe i saved damn near a hundred dollars on this sneaker 
So again, I have these. These are gonna be so freaking dope for fall. And like I said, they are so comfortable. The quality is excellent. They have like um, like this suede material or new book material, if you will. So again, these are the New Balance 990s. And I wanna say this is the version three. I think they're the 990 V3s. And I believe they go up to like a V5. It just depends on what year they came out. So super glad to have got these and I got plans for these to rock them. Like I said, with my gray on gray style dress, which I should have showed y'all, but I think I showed y'all a couple of vlogs ago. But yeah, super excited about these, the New Balance 990 V3s for fall girl. So sticking in the shoes category, in addition to those New Balances, I also picked up a pair of jw anderson's if you know you already know you already know what shoe this is most likely so with that being said you guys the price that i paid for these is so amazing like i said i am a self-proclaimed -pro girl who does not try to pay retail for anything so i picked up the classic jw anderson i guess these are chain mules if you will these came out like a year or two ago. So they are the Birkin style, Birkenstock like style shoe. So they look like this. They are leather. They have this big ridiculous chain on the on the foot on the top and I love that. To me it absolutely makes the shoe. It's like a fancy they're like a fancy ass new they're like a fa a fancy fashion girl Birkenstock if you will. So this is how they look. They just look so luxe. The leather is so busting, girl. When I say the leather is busting, the leather is busting, honey. I can smell it from here. So I picked these up, like I said, again, I can't say it enough. I don't try to pay retail for anything. So these came out like a year or two ago and I see these on sale often. Sometimes I see them in the other colors, like they have chocolate brown. They come in damn near every color at this point. I rarely see the black ones on sale, but even when I have seen them on sale, they definitely were not this cheap. So something told me to just get the Google in one day. My bestie actually has these. She paid full retail price for them and she loves them. So I got to Google in one day and I found a website from, it's like a London department, a UK department store called Brown's Fashion. Again, I'm sure some, most, some of y'all, most of y'all probably have heard of Brown's before. But I was able to pick these up. They retail for, I want to say $670 or $690, damn near $700. Your girl found these for $234 on Brown's Fashion, okay? $234. Now, the caveat was that I had to pay like $15 or $21 for shipping, something like that. So I ended up paying like $255 total. But again, total with everything, including the international shipping and these retail for almost $700 plus tax. So I'm gonna say I, I saved about $500 overall. <laughs> and of course they're brand new, impeccable condition. They have, um, I wore them in the crib, so that's it. And I picked these up in a size 40 Italian. I was a little leery about what size to pick because I heard, I watched a ton of videos on these. There's a lot of videos on these on YouTube. And um, some of the sizing was a little bit um, confusing. Like I really didn't know if I should have went with like a Italian 40 or an Italian 41, but the 40 fit, fits perfectly. So I was so happy about that because I did not want to ship these back uh, on an international return girl. But these are going to be super fly for fall. They will be getting, uh, I will be definitely getting a lot of wear out of these. They're so classic. I love black. Black is my favorite color. As you, as you can see. So I got plans for these, dress them up, dress them down. Super excited. I just think they're super classic. It's kind of an acquired taste. You either love these or you hate these. I'm somebody who loved them from day one. So I'm super glad that I was able to pick them up at this price. And um, I'm glad I didn't get them two years ago when they first came out. And the last item I have to share with you guys would be in this huge, <laughs> and when I say huge girl, she's huge. So it is in this huge Goyard box. If you know me, you know how much I love the good people over at Goyard. So with that being said, let me show you guys what I picked up. Y'all, this box is ridiculously huge. <laughs> like, 
And it goes to show, and it, it just kind of speaks to my initial thoughts when I when I looked at this item, when I got it in the mail, I was like, wow. Did not expect it to be that big. So let me just go ahead and show you guys. So what I picked up from the people over at Goyard, uh, by way of Fashion Fowl, because I actually purchased this off Fashion Fowl, because again, you know your girl tries not to pay retail for much. So with that being said, what I picked up is this Goyard Senate GM. Let me show you guys. Of course, it comes with the Goyard cloth over it and this huge Goyard box. And basically, the Senate GM is a clutch, if you will. I picked it up in this gray color. Goyard, all of the colors at Goyard are just absolutely beautiful. I love that they come in such an array of colors. So many different options, but I have been wanting something in gray from Goyard for so long. If you guys can see a theme, the New Balances, the gray style dress, the gray Goyard clutch. So again, this is the Goyard Senate GM. So this is their largest size and it's essentially like a clutch or a pouch, if you will, kind of similar to the Chanel O case, if you will. So this is again in the GM size. I don't know the measurements, but as you can see, it is huge. <laughs> like it's humongous. And I love big things, like this is an example of how big, how big this item is. Like she's huge, she's the biggest clutch. I thought my Chanel O case was big. Girl, she's bigger than her. So when I, I've been wanting a Senate Goyard, I've been wanting a Goyard Senate GM for so long. I really had it, I, I would have gotten it in damn near any color with the exception of like yellow or red. Not a fan of those colors, but I was super happy when I saw this on Fashion File. Initially, they had it listed for like a 50 and then it went on sale for like 20% off. So I was able to snag this for, I think it was like with the tax and everything, it was like 770. And the only reason why I'm even going through prices is because I'm somebody who look, I, I, I wanna know how much you pay for it, girl, when I'm watching these different hauls and these videos because I, I wanna know, like it's not, it's not to me it's not taboo to discuss price because it's all it goes into the research like so why not I, i'm not somebody who um who shies away from talking about pricing um but again 770 shipped with the tax after the discount i want to say this retails for over 1100 for this particular size but when i initially saw it i had to send like a video over to my bestie and a couple of my other friends because i was unsure about the size i was like girl she's huge <laughs> like she's huge and my auntie was like well is she bigger than the chanel case i said girl she's bigger than her like she's humongous but after a while i said you know what it comes in three sizes so it comes in this gm size it also comes in the pm which to me the pm i thought that was like a a little like a like smaller than a toiletry pouch like a toiletry pouch 19 so apparently that one is a good size because this one is just so huge this is more like a document holder which i think is what their intention is um via goyard is for it to like contain documents you apply as document carrier if you carry in your documents in a goyard uh senate girl so shout out to you if that's something that you do but for me this will be used as a pouch and or a clutch so again, it comes in a PM, a MM, and also a GM size. This is the largest, the GM, as you can see. Again, she's a healthy girl. She's, a, she's, she's big and she's long and she's luscious. So super excited. I got this for an amazing price. I was, again, reluctant because I thought she might have been just a little bit too big. But in my opinion, I know small bags and small clutches and little dainty things have been kind of a trend over the past couple of years. But I'm starting to see more and more fashion brands come out with larger bags, kind of like how we were rocking the really large bags a couple of years ago. Specifically, I mean, particularly like YSL with that big ass like quilted a YSL shopper bag that they came out with like a couple of months ago with the huge YSL symbol on it. So a lot of a lot more brands are starting to come out with um, with big things. But even regardless, I'm a classic girl. I'm not really a trend follower, so that doesn't really phase me. So I will be keeping this, and um, I cannot wait to rock this with again my gray on gray stock dress, my new balance, my gray New Balances. 
just all the vibes girl just all the vibes so again i'm super super psyched and excited that i was able to pick this up for such a great price i now have a third goyard piece and um, the girl is going to continue to purchase goyard because it's so exclusive i love it so much and it's just one of those if you know you know type brands if you will so so yeah so that essentially concludes my pre-fall mini fashion haul Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any of the items that I've shared, if you're considering getting any of the items that I share, please comment down below. Leave your girl a comment. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, of course. And I will see you girls and guys in the next video.